Martial arts might not be new to us nor would be the foreign countries known for its origin. What if you told you that it was India, especially South India, was the birthplace of all martial arts? In fact, it was Bodhidharma, a Tamil king, who spread this to foreign countries. Without any further delay, let's take a peek over a trickle of our diverse self-defense and war styles that reflect the country's rich culture and history, and hence truly our pride. Adimurai translates to the ancient method in its origin language Tamil, reflecting its deep-rooted history and lineage. This art form integrates various weapon training but mainly focuses on unarmed combat. It is known for its unique footwork and stances that enhance agility and balance. Adimurai was practiced by indigenous people of the state as an empowerment to mental discipline and physical fitness. It is passed on with the help of scriptures. Malyuddham is one of the 64 art forms that were practiced in ancient India. It is very old because Malyuddham consists of natural movements that humans tend to do in a fight, such as pushing, gripping and immobilizing the opponent. A Malyuddham warrior must have knowledge of the human anatomy and body mechanics in order to immobilize their opponent as they wrestle inside a mud pit. During the medieval years In Tamil Nadu, Malyuddham was practiced as an entertainment and a face-off between kings. Kalari Payattu, widely recognized as Kalari, is believed to be the mother of all martial arts and dates back to 900 and 1000 BC. Kalari is a holistic system that combines combat and self-defense techniques, physical and weapon training and healing. It also emphasizes breathing, meditation and mental discipline to enhance focus, concentration and self-awareness. Kalari Payattu has had a significant influence in developing traditional Asian martial arts such as kung fu. Indian martial arts so diverse that there are hundreds and thousands of such martial arts still uncovered and brought to fame. So powerful that the British banished the practice of these arts. so remarkable that they exemplify our strength skill and valor so deeply rooted in our traditions that they reflect our country's rich culture and heritage but what do we do what do we do to something that's the guardian of our pride and protector of our culture it is in our hands to retain and guard the pride of our country the martial arts